Hi everyone, welcome to Max Art Place. Today I'm going to try to do a swipe on a record album. Uh, I've never tried that before and it's a little bit tricky going in a circle, I think. So we'll find out. I'm using some leftover colors of the one that I did on my last video, number 27. I'll start numbering these videos now. This one will be number 28. And I'll list my colors and what they're mixed with uh, in a description under this video. This uh, is the result of my last pour. And uh, it's really nice and shiny. I added, I had to do a little bit of my squiggle tool. And I made it, well, I haven't decided which ways. Don't know which end is up yet, but this is the result and I still have to put epoxy on it and I like the if you can see now those wave like things right here I added them I just had to mess around can't leave anything alone so uh, I've already put the white on my record as you can see and i have these little bitsy pieces of cardboard i save from boxes of stuff i happen to like that so i thought what i would do is to put the puddle of white around where the hole was is I have a straw in there and I'm going to use colors from the previous pour that I did um, this is that 24 carat yesterday I said uh, something else besides carrot gold anyway what I intend to do is put drops in different places well that was a little more than a drop and these are still mixed with that glue mixture that I tried this looks a little bit like chicken pox This color kind of reminds me of the dots in the blouse that I have on. I think this blouse would make a neat painting if you could duplicate it. I'm too new to be able to duplicate it, I think. And I see a bunch of holes air bubbles in here so I'm going to have to get them out some of my red in the bottle maybe huh oh, gotta find a toothpick I know there's one around here somewhere let me try one of these pins maybe that did it yep And I use 
use some of this bright yellow, I think. I'm surely making a big mess. I don't think I need that much yellow since I have the gold in there. I'm also gonna add a little bit of silver. And I need another pipette. And this is silver. These are the Arteza, or Arteza, however you pronounce it, paints that I used on that blue one that I showed you from the beginning of my video. So have my purple bottle. So after all these dots, if I uh, forget to torch before I start doing my swipe, holler at me, will you? hoping that's enough. There are a myriad of colors. Do like a little bit like that. And we'll empty this one here like this too. After doing all those dots, then I do some smears. And the gold. Looks like we're having a party. Yes, we're having a party. All right, I'm gonna get these out of my way before I have a big mess. And I still have leftover paint, so I'll have to figure out something else to do with it. And I've got my, I've never tried a wet paper towel. One of these days, I might have to try that. So, I did try a swipe once before with a piece of cardboard, and I liked the way that came out, so we'll see what happens. See, you didn't holler at me to do my bubbles. Well, you probably did, but I didn't hear you. say a dirty word. So I think it's time for a new piece of cardboard.
Don't have much activity here. I think some more of that white has to come off. Or I add a little bit of red because there's a lot of red over there. I think I'm going to add a little more gold. I'm getting some nice cells, but I don't know why my original swiping was lacking of color. So I like that much better. And get this mess off of here. And we'll do another. getting some nice cells. I think that'll make a neat clock. I'm anxious to see what it looks like when it's dry. I'll take you down and give you a gander. Here's a close-up of the record with a swipe. I like these cells that are coming up. I like this much better than the other record that I did. Kind of a little dull right in there, but I might be able to fix that. And here's a close up of the whole thing. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you subscribe and share. Give me a thumbs up, and that your comments help me to decide to keep painting. I uh, don't know whether I'm doing a great job or not, so I'll be glad to hear from you. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.